Eating. <laughs> yes, eating is awesome. Eating foods you like is even more awesome. Pop quiz: What does eating have to do with school? Answer: Students with healthier eating styles do better in their classes. There's actual research that shows this. School is easier when your eating style is healthy. Your eating style is all the foods you eat over the course of a week, month, or year. Making that a healthy style doesn't mean giving up all the fun. All the foods you like can still fit in. But how can you tell what a healthy eating style is? It sounds complicated. But it's not. Scientists and other experts have been working a long time on figuring out what a healthy eating style looks like and making easy ways to remember it. That's where this illustration comes in. It's called My Plate. It's a picture of what experts in medicine, nutrition, and public health have figured out is a healthy eating style. Behind the illustration are the verbal recommendations called the Dietary Guidelines for Americans. The idea is half your plate has fruits and vegetables on it; the other half is grains, proteins, and dairy. Wait, did I hear that right? Yes, half the plate is fruits and vegetables. If you suspect you're not eating as many of these as recommended, you're not alone. Especially when it comes to vegetables, most Americans aren't meeting the guidelines. It's recommended most teenagers have two to three cups of vegetables per day. We found vegetables have lots of important nutrients like fiber, potassium, which your body needs to build muscle and make your heart pump, vitamin A, which you need to see, and vitamin C, which you need to fight off infections and heal when you're injured or sick. Luckily, there's a lot of variety within the vegetable world. In fact, there are five subgroups, and it's best to eat from all of them. You'll find the most vitamins and minerals in the red, orange, and dark green subgroups. Things like sweet potatoes, red bell peppers, tomatoes, or broccoli, kale, or bok choy. The starchy vegetable subgroup gives you energy, but not as many other nutrients. Corn and potatoes are in this subgroup. The beans and peas, or legumes, subgroup is unique. Because these veggies, like black beans or chickpeas, give you protein and iron, similar to meat. There's also a subgroup called other. These veggies also have nutrients you need. We're talking cauliflower, cucumbers, green bell peppers, onions, summer squash, and more. Getting back to the rest of your plate, let's look at the grains. One thing to remember is the difference between whole and refined grains. It might seem confusing at first, but the idea is simple. The part of the grain we eat is a seed. We grind it into flour for making bread or crackers or what have you. The seed has three layers. At one point, people figured out how to easily remove the bran and the germ. The taste and the texture of the resulting white flour were a revelation. But then people started getting sick. It turned out it was from not getting the B vitamins that are in the bran and the germ. So eventually, people added some nutrients back into the refined grain. That makes an enriched grain. But whole grains are best of all, and they're back to being popular. Pay attention to labels, though. Whole grain products can have refined grains mixed in. Also, not every darker grain product is a whole grain. It might just have molasses or coloring in it. If you see the word "whole" before a grain in the ingredients list, or 100% whole grain on the front of a package, those are good signs. Okay, let's eat. Oh wait, one more thing about your eating style. Try to include only a little food with these three things: added sugars, saturated fats, and sodium. When there are natural sugars in fruit, milk, or vegetables, they always go along with some nutrition. But when food manufacturers artificially add sugar to things like soda and desserts, all you get is more calories. So they're best for just an occasional treat. Saturated fat and sodium, if you have too much of them, can be bad for your heart and your blood pressure. Some of the big sources are whole milk, cheese, and non-lean meats. Sodium is tricky. It doesn't always taste salty, like in bread or lunch meat. So once again, the nutrition labels are your friend. Here's a shortcut: eat fewer processed foods. Food from boxes tend to have more of the bad stuff. And less of the good. Another shortcut to healthier eating style can be eating school lunch. It's true. Most schools that offer lunches are part of a national program that sticks pretty close to my plate. There's plenty of fruit, 
vegetables from every subgroup, lean proteins, low-fat dairy, and in both school lunch and school breakfast, at least half of the grains are whole grains. Everything you eat and drink matters. So if you've got a plate in front of you, look at how your eating style is fitting into my plate. Small changes will add up to big wins for your brain, body, and happiness. There's more information online.